Hello YouTube and internet, I'm back. Now I never really went away, but let me take it a step back and I'll explain why I'm doing this. So 20 years ago, this last spring, I graduated from high school. I know that really dates me in my age, but I am what I am. <laughs> and speaking of who I am, I've always been somebody that likes to just make stuff. As a kid, I was always building things. I was trying my hand at illustration and writing comics. In high school, I fashioned myself a writer and I was gonna go off to college and be a writer. I first went to New York to pursue that. But New York soon led me to Philadelphia and the University of the Arts, where I studied writing for film and television, which is a fancy way of saying screenwriting. I minored in narrative video production. So essentially, I was a film student, focusing mainly on the craft of story, but also integrating the production scope into it. And even though it was a more professional way of exploring projects, still it was just me doing what I do, making stuff. During my time in college and studying film was in the early 2000s and that's when YouTube came out. And I really kick myself now and my lack of foresight for what YouTube was and what it had to offer especially somebody with my skill set, I could have joined the community of content creators early on at its inception and kept doing what I do, but having a place to showcase it. Of course, that's just not the way that my brain worked at the time, but I did have some content when I came out of film school, of course. I had my film from school, which you can see trailers for right now on my channel. And then in pretty much the years that followed, I just used YouTube as a place to kind of dump my library of random things, whatever I happen to be working on or somebody wanted me to make something for them. But just like the way that I started with it, I really didn't have a lot of foresight or vision or direction or focus for what I could do with YouTube or how to use my skills. Now skip forward to a few years ago, I got the inspiration to kind of like emulate what other YouTubers were doing, the ones that I would watch regularly. Most notably, I tried my hand at doing sort of like a low entry uh, beginners cooking show and also the typical movie reviews or movie essays kind of format that's so saturated nowadays. Now as I'm sure you can tell it's pretty obvious that I'm not super comfortable in front of the camera like this. That's why I have these two setups that go back and forth between. So once I tried copying what I enjoyed watching other people do on this format, I just kind of threw in the towel and said it's not for me. Again, I wish I had the foresight to be on the ground level in the beginning of these things when YouTube was first starting out, but hindsight is always 2020, right? But now, like I said, that I'm 20 years removed from where I kind of started my adult life. As I'm sure a lot of us do at this age, I've been kind of reassessing myself and reassessing my life and my choices and what I want to do moving forward. And even though I professionally moved on to other things, I still get excited at the prospect of just doing what I've always done since I was a little kid, just making stuff and having fun making stuff with other people and collaborating on projects and just making things because it's fun. So here I am. I have decided that I'm going to put a lot more effort and time and energy into making stuff with a little bit more of a vision and a focus and I'm gonna host it right here. And there are three areas that I keep coming back to as sort of like my umbrella passions and interests. So number one is, like I keep saying, just making things. And I know that's really non-specific, but for me, my kind of area of comfort and my background is in filmmaking, so making videos is something that I enjoy doing. Number two, more specifically, is music. You can see some of the projects that I've either filmed or played in, I'm a percussionist mostly, already on this channel and there'll be more to come. But also, if you go check out my website, breathingunderwater.us, you'll see links to music projects that I'm actively involved in right now, which includes my band, After We Pray, and a band and music and art and kind of a general collaborative project called the Mobius Project. Now the third thing is a little bit more removed from those other more projecty things and it's what I like to call adventuring. As you can see behind me in my garage, I'm not super into any like one sport. I'm more into just like exploring the thrill and excitement of trying things and seeing where they lead me. Now unlike the project you side of me that's always kind of been there it seems, the impulse to travel and adventure it was more of a product of my post-college years. But now I'm realizing that not only do I really enjoy doing all those things, I also enjoy documenting those things. And to put it out there for other people to hopefully stumble across and maybe possibly get inspired. So I'll say for my part, you know, when I go online and I seek out people that are doing the things that I want to get into, 
like surfing or skateboarding or what have you, I often feel that common kind of imposter syndrome. I feel a little intimidated by the bar that is set by people that, you know, grew up doing this kind of stuff. I didn't have the luxury, like a lot of people that I met when I was living on Maui, for instance, to go out and surf every morning before school or something like that. I wasn't exposed to these things till later in life, but now that I am, I'm interested in doing them. I don't know, I thought maybe there are other people out there like me that like to do fun stuff, but maybe don't know about it yet, or have been kind of holding off because they feel like, What's the point? There's already so many people better than me or there's already so much that I'd have to learn. It's too late. If anything, I would like that section of my channel, the travel and adventure stuff, to just be a kind of inspiration for those like me that have had to learn the hard way that there's no right or wrong time to learn about things, to get into stuff, to enjoy things and to build skills and to share them with other people. So moving forward, general projects, music, and adventuring. That's gonna be my main focus of this channel for the foreseeable future. To get started, I'm going to go back and put together what I can from old photos and videos that I have taken over the years of things that I never put together and shared with the world. Things like bike tours and scuba diving trips, old like archive music that I either had got from somewhere or film myself. As I travel and seek adventure, I will do my best to document those things and share them with you. On the project front, my friend Chris and I are gonna be starting a folklore related podcast, so keep an eye out for that. If any of this interests you, I hope you'll come on this journey with me. A great place to kind of keep up with everything that I'm doing, no matter what it is, is my Instagram. It's at breathingunderwater1. Mahalo for checking this out. I appreciate it. Let your car